Hi, and welcome to another session of Rambling Rose. Today we're going to just be talking a little bit about your vegetable garden. When do you know when to harvest things? So first off here we have a zucchini plant and you'll notice that it gets really big and full. Um, zucchinis can be harvested pretty much um, right up until frost and what you look for, you can see this one down here, it's not quite ready but they'll the flower will drop off and there will be a zucchini where the flower was. And when they're about uh, six to 10 inches is about right. If they get too big, they get kind of tough and seedy. So you can harvest them any anytime. Check every couple of days because they grow fast and um, just harvest them when they're ready. Uh, here we have cucumbers and this uh, vine is kind of a mess because I just moved it off of the other plants. But you'll see cucumber vines are very, very prolific. And again, you'll, you'll find the cucumbers along here. And when they're probably four to six inches, they're the best. And again, you don't wanna wait until they get too big because then they get tough and kind of seedy. So check every few days for your cucumbers. Um, tomatoes, pretty much everybody knows, wait until they're um, a nice overall red ripe. These are all still green. Um, here we have a yellow crookneck squash, also known as summer squash. You can see down in here, again, it'll be like the zucchini. Check every few days because, again, you don't want them to get too big and tough. That's a yellow crookneck squash, a summer squash. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Um, corn. Everybody knows what corn looks like when you get it from the store. What you do is you wait until all of the the hairs are kind of brown. This is not quite ready. It's a little bit late this year. And corn is done when you take your thumbnail and kind of squish one of them and it looks like milk coming out. That's how you know when sweet corn is done. Uh, these are carrots and I am not as uh, good about thinning as other people are. I don't really mind them when they're just little. So let me see if I can find a couple here that want to come out. Sure they don't want to today. Um, anyway, I don't thin. Um, as other people do earlier in the season. I just pick a few when I want a few and eventually just the big ones will be left. Um, these are potato plants and potatoes um, generally you wait until the the tops die off. They'll kind of turn brown and, and kind of wilt. Uh, early in the season though I do dig up a couple of hills because we like the new potatoes. So really potatoes you can do anytime um, after the growing season has gotten going. Uh, in this area I had peas and uh, green beans, and, and now it's later in the season, so those are gone. It's uh, mid to late July now, and the peas, some of them I've already picked. This one, if you're shelling peas, this one's a little bit skinny. What you look for is the really round, chubby ones. This one's pretty chubby. You can see it looks round. I usually, if I can't see them, if I have trouble seeing them, I give it a little jiggle and then you can see the, see the pods a little bit better as they jiggle. These are onions, uh, it's fairly obvious, and now the greens have all toppled over. So these are ready to be pulled. We'll pull them and let them lay around for a couple of days to um, dry out a little bit. Right over here we have sweet potatoes. And these again, you can wait until um, a light freeze. You don't want the potatoes themselves to freeze, but it's later in the season when we dig these up. And these are beets. And actually beets can be harvested when they're one to one and a half to three inches. Um, just anytime after you see their shoulders kind of poking out like this. And in fact, actually the, the greens when they're young can be used kind of like a spinach or like a, a kale as a green. So that's beets. Well, I hope this has helped you decide when your vegetables are ready. We'll see you next time on Ramblin' Rose.